welcome students today we are going to see a joint of a matrix okay a joint of matrix is used in finding inverse of matrix so it is important so how to find the inverse of matrix will be taught little bit later so before that we are going to learn how to find a joint of a matrix first we are going to learn how to find a joint for a 2 by 2 matrix okay i'll give you a short method to find 2 by 2 matrix a joint for 2 by 2 matrix okay first step 1 what you have to do is you know a 2 by 2 matrix contains four elements isn't it so first in step 1 interchange the elements in the main diagonal okay so these two elements minus 3 and 2 are to be interchanged step 2 change the sign of the remaining elements what are the remaining elements 6 and 4 so what is the sign of 4 it is minus sorry plus so change into minus what is the sign of 6 it is also plus you change into minus so this is the procedure so very simple for 2 by 2 matrix i'll say again step 1 you have to interchange the elements in the main diagonal so these two elements are to be interchanged then step 2 you have to change the sign of the other two elements okay now see the example exam sorry exercise exercise 1.1 sum number 1 subdivision 1 you are asked to find adjoint of a 2 by 2 matrix okay so what is the step we have learned we have to interchange the two elements isn't it so first i have named this matrix as a a is equal to matrix minus 3 4 6 and 2 now what is given you have to interchange the elements in the main diagonal so elements in the main diagonal are minus 3 and 2 so both are interchanged so in the place of minus 3 2 is to be substituted and in the place of 2 you have to substitute what minus 3 both are interchanged and written here then what is the second step you have to change the sign for the remaining elements so remaining elements 4 and 6 4 is plus 4 so I have written minus 4 6 is plus 6 I have written minus 6 suppose if it is minus 6 means I have written what I have tried what plus 6 so this is very simple to find the adjoint of a 2 by 2 matrix now how to find a joint of a 3 by 3 matrix okay this is little uh, extended step okay so how to find a joint of 3 by 3 matrix step 1 find the cofactors of the given matrix then the second step find the transpose of the matrix first you have to find cofactors then you have to find tra transpose cofactors you supposed to learn in 11th standard yet i will explain once again how to find cofactors okay so a joint of a matrix is equal to this ac it represents cofactor and find the cofactor then find the transpose of the given matrix right exercise 1.1 sum number 1 subdivision 2 a matrix is given a 3 by 3 matrix is given now you are asked to find a joint okay so first i have i'm, I'm going to name this matrix as a matrix a matrix is equal to 2 3 1 3 4 1 3 7 2 now to find adjoint so first to find adjoint what is the first step you have to find the cofactor this is the cofactor then you have to find the transpose so how to find the cofactor is very simple okay just uh, remember this uh, sign plus minus plus minus plus minus plus minus plus okay start with plus and go on with alternate plus means next is minus so here plus so here you have to have minus here minus so here you supposed to have plus so this order of signing should be very important so plus minus plus minus plus plus minus plus minus plus okay so keep this in mind then you have to write the minus okay so when you this is a, this is a, these are all minus when you put sign in front of minus it becomes cofactor that's all minus is very simple you see here i have uh, just take the first element see the first element is what two so uh, first element leave the row and the column what are the remaining elements four 
one seven two. So this is four one seven two. Can you understand? Then second thing. Second thing means second element. What is the second element? Three. Leave the row and column. What are the remaining elements? Three three one two. Three three one two. Third element. This is one. Leave the row and column. Three four three seven. Three four three seven. Can you understand? So this is the way you have to write. Now coming to the uh, second row of uh, cofactors. So what is the second row? First element is three. Second row, first element is three. So leaving this row, three, four, one, and leaving this column, two, three, three. Can you understand? This is an intersection of that is three comes in the place which is an intersection of second row and first column. Okay. So leaving this row and this column, we have elements three, one, seven, two. So three, one, seven, two. Now. Middle element, so four. So leaving this row and this column because that is the intersection. So leaving this row and this column, we have elements two, one, three, two. So two, one, three, two. Now coming to this element, okay? That is uh, second row, third element. So one. Leaving this row and this column, you have elements two, three, three, seven. So two, three, three, seven. Now coming to the Third row first element. Third row first element is three. Leaving this row and this column, these are all the elements remaining. Three one four one. So three one four one. Now coming to the second element in the third row. So leaving this row and this column, you have two three one one. Two three one one. Now last element in the third row, which is two. Leaving the row and the column, you have two three three four. Two, three, three, four. Can you understand? Very simple. First, assign it. Then write the minus. So this is the cofactors. Don't forget to write the transpose. Now, how to expand this uh, uh, determinant? You know that. See, this is a matrix. This is also a matrix. And inside you have a collection of what? Determinants. Okay. This is not matrix. This is all. These are all determinants. Cofactors. Okay. Right now, you know how to expand a two by two determinant. You have to multiply the main diagonal elements. Put a minus and multiply the remaining elements. Four into two is eight. Put a minus. One into seven is seven. Then this minus is written as it is. Three into two is six. One into three is three. Put a minus and write. Then three into seven is twenty-one minus three into four is twelve. Then three into two is six minus one into seven is seven. 3 in 2 into 2 is 4 minus 1 into 3 is 3. Then 2 into 7 is 14 minus 3 into 3 is 9. 3 into 1 is 3. 4 into 1 is 4 minus. Then 3 in, 1 into 2 is 2 minus 3 into 1 is 3. Then 4 into 2 is 8 minus 3 into 3 is 9. Okay. Now the last step you just simply uh, add these elements and write the answer. So 8 minus 7 is 1, 6 minus 3 is 3, there is a minus, so it is minus 3, 12 minus, so 21 minus 12 is 9, 6 minus 7 is minus 1, there is a minus, so it is plus 1, 4 minus 3 is 1, 14 minus 9 is 5, there is a minus, so minus 5, 3 minus 4 is minus 1, 2 minus 3 is minus 1, there is a minus, so it is plus 1, 8 minus 9 is minus 1. Find the transpose. 1, 1, minus 1. So, 1, 1, minus 1. Minus 3, 1, 1. So, minus 3, 1, 1. 9, minus 5, minus 1. So, 9, minus 5, minus 1. So, this is the transpose. So, first what you have to do is, you have to find the cofactor. Then, transpose the matrix. You will be getting the adjoint of the given matrix. Exercise 1.1, sum number 1, subdivision 3. Here also, you are asked to find the adjoint. But uh, here you see in front of the matrix there is a common element 1 by 3. So what you can do? You can uh, do the same procedure. Simply just bring this 1 by 3 inside. You know when you bring a number inside a matrix you have to multiply with all the elements. Isn't it? So this becomes 2 by 3, 2 by 3, 1 by 3, minus 2 by 3, 1 by 3, 2 by 3, 1 by 3. Minus 2 by 3 and 2 by 3. And finally, how we have done the previous problem, you can do it. Okay. But there is an alternate method and an easiest method. So, I have taken this problem. So, you can also do the method which I am going to teach now. 
and also the ordinary method we have seen just before. Can you understand? So you can also try this method but this will be a little bit easy when you have a number in front of a, a matrix. How to find that joint? So very simple. So just name this uh, uh, matrix as A. So A is equal to 1 by 3 into the given matrix. So there is a small uh, like formula like thing you see here adjoint of k into a is equal to k to the power n minus 1 into adjoint a where n is the order of the matrix okay order of the square matrix so what is given here when a matrix is to be multiplied by a number or a constant it, it's supposed to be taken as k into a so here the k is nothing but 1 by 3 can you understand k is nothing but 1 by 3. So, adjoint of this matrix, how we have to find this? k to the power n minus 1. What is k? 1 by 3. So, 1 by 3 whole power 3 minus 1. What is 3 order? See, this n is order of the matrix. Order of the square matrix. This is square matrix, isn't it? It's a 3 by 3 matrix. This is square matrix of order 3. So, in the place of n, I have substituted 3. Can you understand? k is 1 by 3 n represents the order so it is 3 minus 1 then adjoint of this matrix leaving the k you have to find only adjoint for this one so very simple can you understand so using this formula also you can do the problem which is very easy right now to find the adjoint is very simple so this is 3 minus 1 is 1 by 3 the whole square you know how to write it plus minus plus minus plus minus plus minus plus then how to write the uh, minus so that it becomes cofactor so leaving the row and column 1 2 minus 2 minus 2 leaving the, sec the second element row and column minus 2 1 2 2 we got this and the third element in the first row leaving the row and column minus 2 1 1 minus 2 and first element in the second row leaving the row and column we have 2 1 minus 2 2 which is given here and the middle element leaving the row and the column you got 2 1 1 2 which is given here and the third element in the second row leaving the row and column you have got 2 2 1 minus 2 and this is similarly in the first element of the third row leaving the row and column 1 2 1 sorry 2 1 1 2 2 1 1 2 and the second element leaving the row and column 2 minus 2 1 and 2 so 2 minus 2 1 and 2 and the last element in the third row leaving the row and column you have got 2 2 minus 2 and 1 2 2 minus 2 1 and you know how to find this and find the transpose and to expand this 1 into 2 is 2 minus minus 2 into 2 is minus 4 so plus 4 and 2 into minus 2 is minus 4 minus 1 into 2 is 2 2 into minus 2 into minus 2 is 4 minus 1 into 1 is 1 2 into 2 is 4 minus minus 2 into 2 is minus 2 so it becomes plus 2 1 into 2 into 2 is 2 minus 1 into 1 is 1 2 into minus 2 is minus 4 minus 1 into 2 is 2 then 2 into 2 is 4 minus 1 into 1 is 1 2 into 2 is 4 minus minus 2 into 2 is minus 2 so it is plus 2 2 into 2 is 2 minus minus 2 into 2 is minus 4 so it is plus 4 so now you have to expand it so it is plus 6 minus 6 a minus so it is again plus 6 4 minus 1 is 3 4 plus 2 is 6 minus so it is minus 6 4 minus 1 is 3 minus 4 minus 2 is minus 6 there is a minus so it is plus 6 4 minus 1 is 3, 4 plus 2 is 6, that is a minus, so it is minus 6, 2 plus 4 is 6. And you have to find the transpose, so this is 1 by 9, isn't it? 1 by 3, the whole square is 1 by 9, 1 by 9. Now you have to find the transpose, so transpose is written here. And you can stop here itself, but still you can see all the elements are multiples of 3, isn't it? So I can take a 3 outside. So taking the 3 outside, it becomes 3 by 9, 2 minus 2, 1, 2, 1 minus 2, 1, 2, 2. So cancelling the numerator and the denominator 1 by 3 and the remaining. So this is the adjoint of the given matrix. Exercise 1.1 sum number 6. If A is a matrix, 2 by 2 matrix, verify this property. A into adjoint A which is equal to adjoint A into A which is equal to determinant of A into I. Okay. This is an 
identity that is unit matrix okay so solution so first we have to find adjoint for this matrix you know how to find the adjoint of matrix how to find it interchange the main diagonal element so 3 comes here and 8 goes here then minus 5 change the sign as plus 5 minus 4 change the sign as plus 4 so this is adjoint a now we have to multiply a into adjoint a so a into adjoint a this is a matrix this is adjoint a so we have to multiply 8 into 3 is 24 minus 4 into 5 is minus 20 8 into 4 is 32 minus 4 into 8 is minus 32 minus 5 into 3 is minus 15 minus 5 into sorry 3 into 5 is plus 15 and uh, minus 5 into 4 is minus 20 3 into 8 is 24 so 24 minus 20 is 4 minus 15 plus 15 is 0 32 minus 32 is 0 minus 20 plus 24 is 4 so we can take this as equation 1 now adjoint a into a so write the adjoint a first then write the a matrix here also we have to multiply 3 into 8 is 24 then 4 into minus 5 is minus 20 3 into minus 4 is 12 4 into 3 is plus 12 5 into 8 is 40 5 into sorry 8 into minus 5 is minus 40 5 into minus 4 is minus 20 8 into 3 is 24 24 minus 20 is 4 minus 12 plus 12 is 0 minus 40 plus 40 is 0 minus 20 plus 24 is 4 take this as equation 2 and last thing you have to find what determinant a into y so first i am going to find determinant a just remove this uh, that is box symbol for the matrix and put two lines so this becomes what determinant so 8 into 4 sorry 8 into 3 is 24 put a minus minus 5 into minus 4 is 20 so it is 20 24 minus 20 is 4 now a into i what is it's unit matrix so 4 into 1 0 0 1 so it is 4 0 0 4 this is 3 now see 1 2 and 3 all got same answer so from 1 2 and 3 we say that a into adjoint a is equal to adjoint a into a which is equal to determinant a into i now we are going to find inverse of a matrix so previously i told that to find inverse of matrix a joint will help okay so now we are going to do that inverse of a matrix inverse of a matrix can be represented as a to the power minus one that is a inverse a inverse is equal to one by determinant a into adjoint a providing that determinant a is supposed not to be equal to zero why 1 by 0 is not defined isn't it that's why so first you have to find determinant a if it is not equal to 0 you can proceed finding a joint a and you can finally find a inverse suppose if a determinant a is uh, equal to 0 means you can say that a inverse does not exist okay so exercise, exa, exa, uh, sorry, exercise 1.1 sum number 2 subdivision 1 you are asked to find inverse of a matrix so okay, given uh, matrix that is a 2 by 2 matrix so I'll name this as A matrix and you know this is the formula A inverse is equal to 1 by determinant A into adjoint A I told that you have to find what determinant A so take this box sign and take the write the vertical bar so it is so it becomes a determinant so you have to multiply it minus 2 into 3 is 6 put a minus 1 into 4 is 4 6 minus 4 is equal to 2 which is not equal to 0 not equal to 0 so what a inverse exists so a inverse exists so we can find what adjoint of a how to find the adjoint of a it's very simple just interchange the two elements so it is minus 3 and 2 change the sign of 4 which is minus 4 and 1 which is minus 1 so a inverse is equal to 1 by determinant a what is determinant a 2 so 1 by 2 and write the adjoint a so it's very simple to find the inverse of a 2 by 2 matrix exercise 1.1 sum number 2 subdivision 2 now we are going to find inverse for a 3 by 3 matrix same procedure so first we are going to find what just name this as a first 
and you know this is the formula first we have to find what determinant a so determinant a you know how to write it and how to expand it so first element is 5 leave the row and column we have 5 into 5 is 25 minus 1 into 1 is 1 second element you have to change the sign and write so it is minus 1 leave the row and column 1 into 5 is 5 minus 1 into 1 is 1 third element is 1 so plus 1 leave the row and column 1 into 1 is 1 minus 1 into 5 is 5 so 5 into 25 minus 1 is 24 minus 1 into 5 minus 1 is 4 plus 1 1 minus 5 is minus 4 5 into 24 is 120 minus 1 into 4 is minus 4 1 into minus 4 is minus 4 which is equal to 112 which is not equal to 0 so what a inverse exists now to find that join you know how to find that join so i have directly written it so you are also supposed to learn this uh, direct method so that you can uh, consume time in the examination so I, I will explain that too so see here leave this is the first element you know first put the plus minus plus on all the signs then this is the first element leave the row and column what are the remaining elements what 5 1 1 5 so 5 into 5 is 25 minus 1 into 1 is 1 then second one so this is the second element 1 leave the row and column so remaining is 1 1 1 5 1 into 5 is 5 1 into 1 is 1 put a minus then third element is 1 leave the row and column we have 1 1 5 1 1 into 1 is 1 minus 1 into 5 is 5 then here second element so first element in the second row leave the row and column we have 1 1 1 5 1 into 5 is 5 minus 1 into 1 so it is given here then the middle element leave the row and column 1 5 sorry 5 1 1 5 5 into 5 is 25 minus 1 into 1 is minus 1 then 1 leave the row and column 1 5 1 1 1 into 5 is 5 minus 1 into 1 is 1 then first element in the third row leave the row and column 1 into 1 is 1 minus 1 into 5 is 5 then second element leave the row and column 1 5 1 1 1 1 into 5 is 5 minus 1 into 1 is 1 then third element the last element leave the row and column 5 into 5 is 25 minus 1 into 1 is 1 and you know why then you have to find the transpose so which is 24 this is 4 minus 4 minus 4 4 minus so minus 4 this is 24 4 minus so minus 4 this is minus 4 4 minus therefore minus 4 25 minus 1 is 24 find the transpose you will get the same answer now you can see that this is a multiple of what 4 so you can take 4 outside so you have got 6 minus 1 minus 1 minus 1 6 minus 1 minus 1 minus 1 6 and what is a inverse 1 by determinant a so what is determinant a 1 1 2 so into write this adjoint a here so we can cancel this 4 and 112 so i have got 128 so 1 by sorry 28 so 1 by 28 into this matrix gives the answer and that's all thank you